Welcome to the Android channel and this is a look and review, my own personal review of the Galaxy S7 phone from Samsung. Now I've been a Apple guy for a long time. My last two phones were iPhones. Did enjoy the iPhone a lot but what made me change is the fact that I was a little bored at the fact that iOS, you know, version 7, 8, 9 and whatever are all the same. There's basically not much difference between the phones. Um, you know, I felt like Apple is kind of a little behind suddenly in this uh, in its smartphone line. So I was looking at what else could I uh, choose, and I was coming up for a renewal of my um, plan for my cell phone. So I thought, hey, why not uh, get it? And I had, you know, here we have. Uh, I'm with Fido here in Canada. And basically, I had some FIDO dollars, which is uh, kind of, you know, dollars that you accumulate while you pay your bills and everything and all you buy at, at FIDO. So that plus the contract uh, made it really appealing. And basically, this thing cost me less than $100 after rebates and the FIDO dollars and everything. So it wasn't too bad. But if you're not on contract, it is an expensive phone. It is as expensive as an iPhone. Basically, this is a very high-end phone and uh, pretty, it's pretty cool. Now the Galaxy S7, if you look at it people will say well that looks like a Galaxy S6. Yeah they've kind of reused the Galaxy S6 uh, metal and um, you know pretty much used the same um, the same shape and form factor but I can tell you it's a different phone and it has of course different features that were uh, basically uh, not in the S S6. Now one of the things that's pretty cool is the comeback of the SD card. Uh, in the Galaxy S5 there was an SD card slot. People were happy. If you had you know, not enough storage you just uh, put a SD card in. And they removed it in the uh, S6 which made a lot of people a little mad I have to say. But they brought it back here so in the same spot, the same place where you put your nano SIM card you actually have also up to 200 gigabytes of um, micro SD that you can just slip in there and you've got more storage. Now one of the things that I don't like about the S6 though comes only in 32 gigabyte and that is you know, I understand you got an SD card slot. The problem is, if you've used Android for a while, you know that some apps, and actually a lot of apps, don't want you to move them to an external SD card. That means that some apps do use the 32 gigabyte. So it might be possible that you'll fill it up eventually if you go and you know d download and install a lot of apps. That's one of the things. Now, the screen on this is 5.1 inches. This is Super AMOLED, uh, so very takes you know pretty low power, and it has this great mode that I actually like called Always On. So now you have got my calendar and my time, and it's pretty cool for that because now uh, you know Samsung said that apparently people will uh, you know press the home button up to a hundred times a day just to view the time. So they said, look, why not have this always on feature? It doesn't affect much the, the uh, battery life, basically. Uh, if you look at this, I'm at 70% battery life. I did use it quite a lot today. And um, it's not been charged for the last, well, I'd say a little more than six hours. So 30% uh, in six hours. And if you, you know, I had some calls on this, I uh, streamed music. Um, and so, um, and I, I did play a little bit of games. Of course, playing games will lower the battery uh, faster, but the experience is fantastic. Uh, if you're wondering, the S7 Edge was the difference. Well, it's of course the curved screen that goes to the edges, and the S7 Edge has 5.5 inches. It's slightly, slightly bigger than the S7, but it is the same uh, phone. You know, the same electronics, same power, so it's uh, pretty cool for that. Now, uh, it's a very beautiful display. It's not 
super thin, but it is a very nice phone. And you know what? It feels great in your hand. It has a slightly curved back, so it actually holds well. But be warned, it is fragile to um, the fall. So basically, if you have this, get yourself a case. I've seen a lot of people that actually crack not only the front screen, but even the back. So for that, you gotta be careful, but it's superb finish. Maybe a little drawback, really, really uh, has a lot of the, your fingerprints that stay on it. So, you know, you'll, you find yourself like taking your shirt and always cleaning the screen or cleaning the back. So it's not super cool, basically. And um, basically, it might, you know, be a little problem for that. But, you know, it's a phone and you use it all the time and your fingers are over it all the time. So it, you know, is a little normal. So, um, once you use the S7, um, you know what? You immediately fall in love. I did immediately fall in love with this. It's an amazing phone. Of course, as a fingerprint reader, uh, so basically you can just you know uh, put your finger on the home button and it immediately unlocks. And you see how fast it is, and it's uh, actually amazingly fast. So it works very well. It's a uh, very very good phone. Powerful, amazingly powerful. Uh, I can tell you, screen is beautiful. Now I've changed it mode, but this, this because it was maybe like two. Uh, too bright, kind of oversaturated, but it is amazing and this phone is pretty cool. I can tell you that. Uh, pretty amazing thing here that you get uh, when you look at this. So, uh, cool phone. Of course, uh, other advantages is uh, the result that you can um, add a micro SD card uh, so that you can actually have up to 200 gigabytes storage over it and uh, I can tell you it's extremely nice comes with Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 so basically that's what you have and uh, that is pretty much uh, a D latest right now and it's pretty good you know it Android has gone better over the years uh, the screen on the display, the S7 screen, is 5.1 inches. It's a QHD Super AMOLED and it offers a resolution of 2560 by 1440. So it's a pin chart 577 PPI pixel density, which is quite cool. And it does show, it's very beautiful, very beautiful. Um, there is some um, you know, improvements that they've made on the screen, which makes this screen 24% brighter than the screen of the S6, apparently. Uh, so, um, and also the uh, Galaxy S7 screen seems to be kind of wider white and the color seems to be a much more natural compared to uh, other Android phones that I did see. Never off mode, pretty cool, where you see the time displayed all the time that I kind of find it really cool. doesn't have a lot of options though and of course on the channel I'll be posting lots and lots of videos on different options of this phone and of Android 6 um, so you'll see all of that so you know you can have the time, you can have a calendar, you don't have a lot of choices on to what. Eventually I would guess that some apps might be able to use this capability of always on and have more information displayed so I really hope that could get used a little more. But it's pretty cool. Uh, internal storage, like I said, 32 gigabyte. You have micro SD card up to uh, 200 gigabyte if you want. So it's pretty cool. Now, um, the Galaxy S7 model, depending on where it comes from, is different in its internals, internal CPUs. Basically, if you are in Europe, you get an Exynos 8890 octa-core processor. But the Galaxy S7 from North America, that includes Canada, is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 quad-core chip. Apparently, it's slower. And uh, in some tests that I've seen, it does seem slower. RAM, 4 gigabytes, and that helps the phone really, really pack some amazing performances. So I can tell you it's really great. 
Uh, of course, you have uh, the, the usual Google Play Store and all of that, which is pretty, pretty nice. Design is really amazing. If you're looking for a, um, you know, Android phone, I gotta say that you have to look at this one because it is right now one of the most amazing phones out there right now. The camera, so of course you've got the cameras which are amazing. Um, the S6 had a 16 mega, megapixel uh, camera and on the S7 they dropped to 12 megapixels. So a lot of people said, well, you know, the camera is not as good. Yeah, you know what? Megapixels is not a way to actually uh, check for camera quality. Uh, it's much more than that. And actually, the camera of this phone is amazing compared to uh, a lot of, you know, other phones. And uh, the 12 megapixel really is sharp. I took pictures that are just so amazing. I've even had uh, pictures of my cat and um, if I look at the pictures of my cat, I'm just going to try to show you that, uh, you will be amazed at um, the, really the amount of details that you have on this picture. So if you look at this picture here, this is a cat and you can actually see a lot of detail in the pictures. It's amazing how this camera is just so, so good in all the little details. Because it also packs less of megapixels, this camera, of course, can make much better low light pictures. So basically, the uh, low light environment of the camera is better, so you'll have better looking pictures colors are vibrant, they're really nice and uh, of course you have different modes, you've got automatic but you've got panorama, you can do live broadcast directly from the phone, slow motion, virtual shot, uh, you can choose if it's food, video collage, you do a lot of things, you have hyperlapse available, uh, selective focus and so on, great, great camera uh, and of course you've got a front facing camera which is uh, four megapixels I believe and um, has a motion track and what's really nice about the front facing camera something that a lot of phones use but now at least you get uh, basically you get um, your you know face lit up by the screen they're using the screen as kind of a flash basically so uh, pretty pretty nice little device uh, super fast I've played a lot with it you know in the past few days and what I can say is that um, the little drawback that I've seen it does seem that a few apps do crash a little more and I'm not used to crashing that much on iPhone so it's a little surprising as for battery life it um, is quite good I gotta say I've really, really enjoyed um, using it. I've used it all day yesterday, played with games, did a lot of stuff. It will typically, you know, last you probably the full day. Uh, it has a 3000 milliamp hour battery and it, um, of course, lasts pretty much a full day unless you really are of heavy use. But you know what? I use it a lot. I'm a tech guy. I'm always on the road. So I, I got to say that I have a little pack, a battery pack to uh, help if I need more power. One of the little drawbacks I would say of the S7 is the fact that instead of using the more modern USB-C they've used kind of the old uh, you know micro USB port which is okay I mean it's you know it's fine but um, I, I would guess that if they've used the USB-C they would have been able to probably charge the phone faster but still then, you know what, it charges extremely fast. Um, just about an hour, uh, you have, yesterday, you know, I plugged it in and I used it. When I plugged it in, I would say in about an hour, it was at least, you know, 75 to 80% done. Uh, it is quite fast to charge it. So at least that's, uh, you know, also something good because when you need your phone uh, as fast as possible, uh, that's for sure something that you need. Of course, you have a battery saver mode that will help you extend the battery of the phone. 
Um, a little drawback maybe that I would say also is the fact that the uh, sound is only from one speaker here. Um, a lot of phones have two speakers now. So basically when you pay, play a game and you hold your phone like this, very easy to put your finger over the speaker and basically what happens is that the uh, speaker can be muffled quite a lot because of the fact that you are uh, you have your fingers over it. It is dust resistant and it is water resistant. This is pretty cool. You can drop it into up to five feet of water for 30 minutes and it's okay. It's going to be okay. Now water resistant doesn't mean you can go in the water with it every day all the time. That's not at all what it does. Gaming power. Amazing gaming power. I mean I've played a lot of 3D games uh, vibrant, really vibrant colors and also uh, very, very uh, beautiful and very fast action paced 3D graphics are nice. The game launcher does help do a lot. You can even record your gameplays and do some uh, screen shots if you want. So it's pretty nice for that also and uh, really, really like it. Audio is very good and I must say that the earbuds with microphone and control volume controls are amazing. This is better than the iPhone. I've always found that the iPhone has very very low grade audio and that it could be improved a lot. Well you know what this S7 Edge improves over an iPhone I can tell you that. Uh, so you know what check it out um, the packaging was nice also. The packaging was Apple grade. I mean, you know, they wanted to give you a uh, really an experience, a Apple experience when you were uh, basically removing this from the packaging. So uh, this is pretty cool. And I got to say that uh, very, very nice. And I'm a very happy camper. Uh, you have controls, volume controls on the left. You've got another button here to shut off if you want on the right. Of course, fingerprint reader, usual buttons, very nice device. And um, if you're looking for a real cool phone, this is a great phone. And you know what? I come from the uh, iPhone world. This is iPhone quality grade and it is super, super. And I can tell you, I don't regret, been using it for three days now just a great phone. So this was my personal look into the Galaxy S7 phone from Samsung. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know about it, let me know and of course I will try to answer every question. Hope you enjoyed my review. Please subscribe and give us thumbs up and thank you for following us.